Hi, this is Lori Hiscock at Ruoff Home Mortgage. When home buyers are buying a home, they will often ask me what is going to be the most frustrating part of this whole mortgage process. I think they expect it to be something dealing with their credit maybe or their income, but truth be told, for most home buyers, the most frustrating part is the documenting of your savings. Let me explain why that is. When you're buying a home, a bank is going to need to document any money you're using in the process for your earnest money, inspections that you're paying, your down payment closing costs, any of that, the bank is going to need to get your bank statements to show that you have that money available. When that happens, we have to document all of the deposits in there, which can get very frustrating. So the first thing that you can do is get your bank statements. The bank's gonna want the last two months, so you should get the last two months. Look those over. Second, you wanna document the deposits on there. It's exactly what we're going to do. If you have deposits that are the direct deposit of payroll, easy breezy, not a problem, we can handle that. But if you have deposits that are checks that you deposited or cash that you deposited, the bank is going to need to know what that source was and need a copy of that check and an explanation for it. So the second thing you can do is get the documentation for any deposits on those two months of bank statements. The third thing you can do, and a really important one, is avoid all deposits from this point forward other than your payroll. I mean, if you have deposits, you can make them, you just need to document them. But say you come into some cash that you would normally put into your bank account, don't. If you can use that money instead to just pay for your cat, for your groceries, pay for your gasoline with cash, and not run it through your bank account, that's going to make the whole mortgage approval process so much easier for you. So these steps should help to make getting your mortgage approved a little less frustrating. If you have other questions, I'm always happy to help you with this process. Feel free to give me a call or drop me an email. Have a great day.